Hello and welcome to this video series highlighting new features in Talon Studio 6.2. Suppose you need to match a very high volume of customer data coming from different systems. Doing fuzzy matching manually is tedious and time consuming. You've got to deal with any unsure matches one by one. Hopefully there's just a small percentage, but in the world of big data, volumes are so big that even a small percentage is unmanageable. That percentage may still represent millions of records. Talon Studio 6.2 has a new approach, one that's fully supported on Spark, machine learning. Machine learning requires less human intervention and it works well with large volumes because the more history it has, the more accurate it becomes. In this presentation, we'll create three big data batch jobs. The first will generate the pairing model by using the T-match pairing component on the data set. The second one will generate the classification model using the T-match featuring component along with the classification algorithm. And the last one will use the pairing and classification models on the whole data set and get an accurate prediction of which records are duplicates. Machine learning usually has two phases. The first one computes a model. In other words, it teaches the machine based on historical data and mathematical heuristics and in the second phase applies the model on new data. In this demo, phase one is implemented by jobs one and two, and phase two by job three. Let's start with job one. This job does two things. It uses the T-match pairing component to analyze the data set, which contains duplicates, and creates approximate pairs to speed up matching. The component identifies suspect pairs based on a blocking key, but more importantly, it factors human decisions into a model, and this pairing model is saved in a specific location. Now we're ready to run the job. For this example, we'll run these jobs on a small local volume. But since Talon generates native Spark code, the exact same jobs would scale to terabytes or more on a real Spark cluster. OK, it's running and creating approximate pairs of suspect data. It's extracted 25 pairs, and it's writing them into a file. Now at this point, we'd have to analyze this file, and for each pair, determine whether it's a true or false duplicate. This is a cumbersome process, but the more human decision we can factor in, the more accurate the model will be. So in the real world, we would probably have a much larger sample and a lot more suspect pairs to analyze. Here is the delimited file in Excel where we can see the 25 suspect pairs. We've created this column next to the second record in each suspect pair to add a label. True and false are used in this example. We we'll use this file as the input file for the second job. It's a big data batch job, which is the heuristic part of the model. This is where we use fuzzy matching functions to compute a similarity score on each pair called featuring, which we then pass into a typical predictor algorithm called random forest. The job starts with our suspect pairs. The T-match featuring component adds a similarity measure based on fuzzy matching of our customer attributes. For example, first name, last name, email address, and date of birth. It generates features from the labeled suspect data and sends the features and labels to a classification component, as you can see here in the output schema. The classification algorithm used here is random forest, but we can use other ones as well. This component uses the features and labels sent by T-match featuring and generates the classification model, which we save in a specific location. We run the job, and the classification model is generated and saved and is ready to use in the third job. At this point, we have a model that includes human logic from the first job and machine logic from the second job for determining if two records are a duplicate. Now, in the third job, we can use the model to find duplicates, such as in a large HDFS file. For this, we use the tmatch predict component. We start with the input file, which has the complete data set. It applies the human logic and machine logic it got from the first and second jobs and outputs the suspect pairs in a separate file. It can also output exact match and unique records in separate files. We'll run the job now and see that it's splitting the data into the three output files. It'll take a while to finish because it's running on the entire data set. But if we open the spreadsheet containing our suspect pairs, we can see it automatically updating, labeling the pairs. 
There you have it. With Talent Studio 6.2, we use the new machine learning on Spark feature to successfully match a large number of records with minimal human intervention. Please check out the other new feature videos in this series, as well as Talon.com and our community site for more technical information. Thanks for watching.